Hello everyone, Lawrence here with the Specialized Levo. So big tires, big motor, big battery, big everything really, especially a very big price tag. So once you get over the initial sticker shock, you can start looking at the Butcher Grid tires, the RX F36 Olin's fork, um, no Olin's coil on the rear on this bike, so it was just a Fox or a RockShox, sorry, um, air suspension on there. Um, SRAM XO with a rather yeah, narrow range cassette for some reason. It wasn't like the 10 to 50 that we're seeing on so many bikes nowadays. Big brakes, um, the FSR suspension, obviously. Um, typical specialized looks and price tag. Um, rather short travel dropper post. I think it was only 125 mils, but that didn't really bother me too much on this bike. It's fast. Um, for some reason, it was the first time for me riding a specialized e-bike. There was a lot of power. It was very quiet as well. Um, easy controls on there, although you know you have to kind of use a phone in order to see what mode you're in. Um, but it did rather well. Um, the cockpit setup, very nice. A bit of rise on the bars. I didn't mind it too much, although I was quite upright. Um, also, the specialized guys were going to give me a size M frame, and I said no, give me a size large. And in hindsight, I would probably have gone with an extra large even. Um, so when you're buying one of these, test it first and get it in the right size, because apparently specialized people want you to ride what kind of feels like a pocket bike instead of a proper moped. So on the descents with the butcher grid tires, it, it did really well. I was kind of blasting it, although I was super tired. I was going flat out wherever I could. Um, suspension does a good job, especially with all the weights on there. Um, the ratio between sprung and unsprung weight is really good. So that suspension action is super smooth. Going both uphill, it's not affected too much when you're putting out power, uh, but also on the downhills, it's just, yeah, it's, it's there for you. And it takes away all the small bump stuff and also all the big bumps. Um, on the loose stuff, the bike tracked really well. My weight on this large model was perhaps a bit more on the front wheel than I would have ideally liked because I would probably go with an extra large because uh, it's quite conservative in the, the reach department. That's me um, losing okay. the front wheel there for a second um, because I wasn't really paying attention. But the bike though, it felt well, it felt really well. A um, bit expensive though, I probably would never buy one of these um, because it's just so expensive. And you know, with Specialized, it's always a massive case of sticker shock. But it does really well, both downhill and then getting you up the hill again. That's obviously the beauty of e-bikes. Um, I rode three e-bikes that day. So the Levo, the Focus Sam uh, Squared and the Speed Fox Amp. I'd say the Focus was probably my favorite overall. But the Levo had something special because the motor was very quiet and quite torquey as well. Um, so it kind of depends. If I was just going for really quick descents, I'd get the Focus. If I was really rich and I wanted to do a lot of climbing and all that sort of stuff, I'd probably get the Levo. But both bikes were really awesome. The Speed, the Speed Fox was also good, but that one had really loud brakes, which, you know, when it's a first ride impression and you're having brake squeal all the time, it really negatively impacts that opinion about the bike. Anyway guys, as we go over the four cross track, it's time for me to say goodbye, so like and subscribe, please, please like and sub especially subscribe because I need a thousand subscribers, and I'll see you guys in the next one, which will be pretty, pretty freaky.